Celtic have had some outstanding attackers over the years. From local legends like Jimmy McCrory, Bobby Lennox and Kenny Dalglish to masters from further afield such as Dembele, Larson and Chris Sutton. But that's all in the past and right now they have a cracking wee laddie up front called Kyogo Furuhashi. He scored over 70 career club goals so far for FC Gifu I think it's called, Vissel Kobe and now Celtic. And he's even scored three goals in eight games for his country Japan. Being 26 now can he kick on and become one of the most sought after Asian exports currently playing in the European leagues. In this video I'm going to be asking Celtic fans some Kyogo questions and I'm going to be telling you some Furuhashi facts. Before we uh, get into the video a huge thank you for all the support lately I've absolutely loved it. Um, please do remember to hit that like button in that vein. Um, yeah all the support has been fantastic. Please do subscribe if you're new and look I am of course here at Celtic Park Paradise where legends are made. Can Furuhashi become a legend? Let's find out. Kyogo Furuhashi was born in the southern Japanese city of Nara. According to an old legend, now you're going to have to bear with me here, the god Takamikazushi, Takamikazushi, the god, um, I hope I got that right, I hope I didn't butcher it, any Japanese people watching, let me know in the comments section below, let me try that again. According to an old legend, the god Takamikazushi, Kazuchi arrived in Nara on a white deer to guard the region. Since then, these animals have become uh, have been considered heavenly creatures and roam the city to this day. I'll put some yeah some clips on screen of the deers inside the city. Of course, you'd usually see deers around here um, in the countryside, but not where Kyogo's from. They are all about the city apparently. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit different, I imagine, to um, to the pigeons that he has to dodge walking down Argyle Street in Glasgow. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball and I'm going to be using the app to show you some Furuhashi facts. Now don't skip this part of the video, it is a crucial part of the video where I'll be looking through some Furuhashi facts. As part of OneFootball you can um, find players as well as clubs, star them and get push notifications on whenever anything happens with them as a player or your club as well. So yeah, you can do that with Furuhashi if you want, um, but it also gives you some uh, really good facts about each player as well. So Furuhashi is 26 years old, born on the 20th of January. 1995. He's from Japan. He's an attacker who wears a number eight. He's 170 centimeters tall, which is I think five foot seven in uh, in our measurements, and he's 63 kg. So he's quite small. He's quite slight. Um, but let's have a look at his Scottish Premiership stats this season. So yeah, in the Premiership this season for Celtic, and these are all the kind of stats that you can find on One Football. Furuhashi has played four out of the six games because he is currently injured, sadly. But um, yeah, in those four games, just three goals. They all came in the same game. He scored a hat trick. He's got shot accuracy of 64 percent and a pass accuracy of 78 percent he's even yeah even look at that he tracks back he wins tackles he's won four tackles 75 percent of his tackles he's won which is pretty good for a small slight attacker like him um 24 duels he's had of which he's won 42 percent of again these are pretty decent numbers for a small attacker like for Hashi. he's yet to register an assist i'm sure we'll see these stats increase um post his injury but yeah you can also get like all his stats look at that passes per 90 minutes 27 touches per minute uh, touches per 90 minutes it's 49 so yeah he's getting a touch every couple of minutes uh, in the Prem this season he's got a few good crosses in 13% of his eight crosses have reached a, a target and look at his minutes per goal I was just chatting to that couple there they uh, saw me filming and were asking what I did and they were so nice they didn't want to be on camera but they were really nice but yeah just back to Kyogo for a second he's uh, scored a goal every 78 minutes in the Scottish Premiership of course like I said it was a hat-trick um, that he scored um, of which they were all right-footed goals 64% uh, shot accuracy good few successful dribbles as well but yeah how do you think uh, Kyogo will get on um, obviously he hasn't played too much in the Prem because of injuries uh, like I mentioned he's injured right now so yeah how do you think he'll get on how many goals do you think he'll get um, this season and how many assists as well will he start racking them up but yeah they were his um, Scottish Premiership stats in all competitions for Celtic this season he has got seven goals in nine games of which I saw him score one
Yeah, that was in a uh, crucial Europa League qualifier against AZ Alkmaar. And um, yeah, it was brilliant to see him play. Honestly, watching him live, he was absolutely electric. When I found out he was injured, I was gutted for him and for Celtic as well because of how well he'd started. And that's, um, they lost to Livingston yesterday, Celtic, um, from the day I'm filming this. Um, and yeah, just when he got injured, it was one of them where you know it's gonna really negatively impact the team. You take seven goals in nine games out of the team. And yeah, no surprise that Celtic uh, went on to lose 1-0 uh, at Livingston, couldn't score. But yeah, if Hashi would have played, maybe that would have been different. And look, there is Nakamura, one of Celtic's greatest uh, free kick takers of all time, I suppose. He scored some absolute crackers. And uh, he, just like Furuhashi, is Japanese as well. Will he go on? Will he be considered as a good a Japanese player for Celtic as Nakamura? Right, I've given you some uh, Furuhashi facts. I've told you about the deers from his city which roam around. I have uh, yeah, told you about the goals that he scored, but it doesn't really matter what I think. I'm not a Celtic supporter. I do really respect Celtic as a club and I loved that game I came to and I can't wait to come to another one. Um, but yeah, Furuhashi, what do the fans think? Let's go and ask some Kyogo questions. What were your initial thoughts when Celtic first signed Kyogo Furuhashi? At the time, I thought, I didn't really know the guy at the time. Yep. I guess he's going to be good. And I guess that's the same with quite yeah. a lot of people. They probably weren't aware of who yeah. he was. I wasn't aware of him. I didn't know him who he was, where he was from. Absolutely uh, fantastic. We had uh, Shunsuke Nakamura. Um, again, he's uh, another foreigner. He's exciting. He's yep. playing really, really well. He's busy. Yeah. He's exciting. Yeah, yeah good answer, actually. Uh, yeah. yeah, Nakamura was here as well, wasn't yeah. he, back in the day? Another Japanese player who's done well for Celtic. I, I don't know. Like, I... I don't know. Like, and you'd obviously managed in Japan before. Do you think yeah. it was due to that? I I thought I was actually on Andrew's family. Like I wanted him to like like be Celtic manager. To yep. be honest. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 there we are. The lads are filming us as well. Yeah, uh, but I but Kyogo, Kyogo is some player. Man. Yep. He's, uh, his movement on the off the ball is superb. Yeah. He, like, I think he's better off the ball with like. Oh, like off the ball then on the ball. What has been your favourite moment of Kyogo's short Celtic career so far? Just any time he's on the park, I just think he's he's busy, he's always hassling, he's yep. hurrying, yep. he's plays with a smile on his face. Yeah. And, uh, just everything about him. He's energy. I yeah. Think. He's, he's an uh, exciting player to watch. Very, very much so. Yeah. Very much so, yeah. Scoring, his goals are. Yeah. He's had a hat trick against player, Dundee, player, I think, and uh, AZ Alkmaar, he scored here as well. I mean, super for the club, it's a shame that he's got this injury. Yeah, hopefully exactly. He's coming back soon, but. He's out at the moment, isn't he? But yeah, hopefully he can come yeah. back firing soon. And yeah. Celtic have had a lot of legendary foreign strikers over the years, your Dembele's and your Larsons, just to name yeah. a couple there. Where do you think Furuhashi will be ranked in the sort of Celtic greats when he comes to leave here eventually? I think it's a bit early to say. I know some of the pundits have kind of put him up there, like uh, he's going to be the next Larson, etc., next Nakamura, as you, as you say. Um, give, give the guy a chance, but yep. if he gets the right service, I'm sure he'll score a load of goals here. Where do you think he'll be ranked, like within Celtic strikers? Do you think he'll be considered one of the best? I reckon he could be one of the best, yeah. To yeah. Be honest, I, I nice. Totally. It's hard to say right now. Yeah. Been 73 rated, you reckon, on FIFA, yeah? Yeah, something like that, something like that. Nice one. I think you get yeah, 77 at least. Yeah. It must, because like, the movement... Yeah. Just, so you reckon his FIFA rating will be 77? What do you reckon his FIFA rating will be? 79. 79? 79. And it was great just to chat to uh, those lads and that one girl there. Um, really funny. One of them wanted to be on camera, the rest didn't but they kept piping up in the background, so I had to get them on. And they were giving me what they thought that uh, for Hashi's rating would be on FIFA 22. Some of them were saying, yeah, like mid 70s. Some of them were saying high 70s. Again, I put it to you. What do you think for Hashi's rating on FIFA will be this season? But yeah, like I've mentioned a few times in this video, for Hashi is injured right now, but genuinely excites me as being probably one of the most promising players in the Premiership this season. Yes, he's only, yes, he's 26. So I guess he's not considered too much of a young player anymore, but 
considering he had played all his career in Japan up until his move to Celtic, this move could really springboard him and make him one of the uh, yeah most renowned and recognised Japanese players in the world right now. I really hope he can kick on. From what I've seen of him so far, um, I think he's been quality for Celtic. The game that I saw him at, he's at Altmar, he obviously scored and um, sort of did really well off the ball as well, as one of the lads was saying earlier, um, that he thought he was doing well off the ball as well as scoring goals. He obviously scored a hat-trick. I wasn't at that game, but sort of wish I was now. Um, I think he's a fantastic player and will go on to be really good. I don't think he'll be held in quite as high regard as Larson. That would take a lot of doing, and even Dembele to a certain extent. But if he stays here for a few years, wins a few titles, notches up a load of goals and can stay injury-free, then who knows? The sky's the limit for Kyogo. Do let me know what your thoughts about Furuhashi are in the comments section below, what his FIFA rating will be, how many goals he'll score, will he stay injury-free, will he win trophies, all that kind of good stuff. Let me know what you think about him below and what's been your favourite Furuhashi moment. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to hit that like button. Please do subscribe as well. Thank you very much. I'll leave some videos on screen right now. I've made loads of Celtic videos. Um, so yeah, do check them out. Search Footy Adventures Celtic or something like that. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.